Thank you, Daddy, for the morning coffee. Morning coffee. What's what's in the morning coffee? Just a good old San Francisco roast. We'll get it. <laughs> Mommy gave me the sweet tooth genetic. So now we're having leftover tartine cake. Okay, uh, San Francisco Bay Organic Rainforest Blend. Perfect. It's medium. I like my coffee hot and light. Yeah. Mix some eggs and some stuff. Yay. We were gonna get dim sum, but I kind of want some simple American breakfast. This chocolate cake from Tartine is the best chocolate cake. It's decadent and rich, and it has the perfect amount of sweetness. Yeah. Just making a little mimosa right now. Yeah, I'm making leftover wine, leftover Pellegrino, leftover oranges, and making mimosa. And then later I'll make pineapple, carrot, cucumber, ugly peach, Pellini mimosa, orange, peach, wine. Mm. Tastes like an IPA. <laughs> you know. There's wine in this. Mm. Just need to have kind of green up. Thank you. Welcome home, honey. Can you show us the proper way to use a knife? Well, you gotta let the knife cut. So you use the distance to let the right knife do its thing. So just by pushing it through. Especially when you cut herbs. Don't press down like that. Use the knife. You don't want to bruise the herbs by pressing it down hard. Otherwise the herbs will change color. Flavor, sausages from childhood. Now get this pan ready for the eggs. Nice thing of butter. Nice butter. 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 A little salt. Okay, scrambled eggs. I like my eggs uh, soft. So. Once you, you think your eggs cook, you just want to pull it off the pan, pull it off the heat. Because even this, all this is still hot. All this is all hot. So just pull it off, like right before it's cooked. And now you have extremely eggs. Good eggs should be able to jiggle like that. season. Olive oil. We all like our avocados and shiracha. Okay. Just half a hash brown. How's that? Taste is not simple. The taste is not simple. Tastes very good. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> this is not simple. <laughs> Eggs are so velvety, huh? Tastes very French. Okay. Mm. It comes to say that to me.
<laughs> Perfect. So making a paella today, we don't have any uh, paella rice. We're using a Japanese new crop rice. It's gonna cook real fast. You can actually put any vegetables, but yeah. zucchini, edamame that we have left. I have one potato. I <laughs> uh, got some clams. Got some uh, squid. Yeah. And we only have some red onions, so we're gonna use red onion. Usually I would like to use white Spanish onions. So we're just starting to sweat that. I don't have a paella pan, so I'm gonna use this um, a roasting pan. And I have some fish there. That's the uh, the salted black car that I had earlier. We have saffron here and paprika. So I think I have this threads of saffron. Let's see. I've never. Oh yeah, it is like a. Always when you cook seafood, always have a little white wine laying around. Super low. I'm just gonna keep it moist. Give it some taste. So you kind of know. Kind of have more drinking. Drinking a wine that go with the food while you're cooking helps you helps the food better. Leftover at the money. Leftover. There's some potatoes, some zucchini. Black cod from Half Moon Bay. On the car, we're gonna put a little dollop of aioli later. We want to feel the bottom have a little bit of, a little bit of sticky. Clams yeah. are starting to open. So now, because we're using the ja uh, Hawaiian Japanese grade new crop rice, we have to be careful because we have to taste the rice first to make sure that it's not gonna overcook. I'm gonna go black though. Yeah, yeah, this is great. I love the presentation on this. Olive oil. Oh yeah. Almond things. I don't want to go eat seafood. <laughs> Try the dry beef with the cheese. <laughs> Mame, cut a fish, potato, zucchini. That's that's all you. That yeah. juice, man. That's perfect for me. That's that juice. Is all right. Mm. That, that's, get a piece of you. cod. I did get a piece of cod. Okay. That's your cod. It's all you, father. Ooh. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. That's still the bottom.
Getting matcha. Test what? I ate this earlier. No, but I did ice and added honey. It doesn't need honey. Oh my god. So good. Try that shit. This does look pretty. <laughs> oh god, I'm so talented. <laughs> that was actually fire, bro. Isabel said it's fucking bomb. It's it actually so good. South Sudan, right? That's Asian myth, that. You can always add ice. So you blended the ice. I just put hot water into honey, so it turned into this like honey water. Put on the ice, added lime. He's not gonna eat it. We have to save this for our little brother. <laughs> yes, it means.